Welcome, everybody, to the Alternative Sport Show, powered by Verge Magazine. We're back at it again. I've got Andre Dixon in the house, and thanks to Virgin Media, we've got Carl Walker-Peters of Southampton Football Club in the room. There's a lot of exciting things um, going down in the world of Southampton Football Club and Virgin Media at the moment, and there's an awesome initiative to get some of the youth back active again, off the back of, lo- back of lockdown. We're getting moving, we're getting active again. And so there's an awesome initiative where, you know, led by Southampton players and the gaffer getting involved, got lessons, giving out equipment, video calls, getting people back active. Just tell me a little bit about this and how important is this for the club? Um, yeah, I think I think us doing it shows how important it is to us. Um, you know, we wanna we wanna help help uh, kids get back active. You know, it's been a tough time with lockdown and I think it's what's been over a year now where you know kids haven't been able to be as active as they usually would be um so yeah this is our way of, of trying to give back and and trying to help you know start that process again so Carl commiserations on the, of the of the FA Cup semi-final I was rooting for you but you know what but the good news what happened yesterday was fans were actually finally back obviously limited because obviously we're trying it but what difference did that make to the to the game it must have been strange to hear yeah it was kind of strange you know we had it during the season where fans came back for a bit um so yeah we were kind of used to having a crowd a smaller crowd um but yeah you know it's it's always nice to have fans nice to have a bit of an, an atmosphere um i actually spoke to to theo walcott before the game and he was just saying you know, what a shame it is, you know, normally when it's a, a semi-final or cup final at Wembley, you have all the all the fans in the streets and, you know, it's just it's, it's a shame to, to lose that atmosphere. But on a whole, it was it was nice to have some some fans back. Carl, what, one of the things we like to do on the Alternative Sports Show is ask our guests their recommendations. We've had some pretty interesting answers from the likes of AJ. Um, Jamie Chadwick of the W Series has given us some cool answers to this little segment. So we call it recommendations, and we want to ask you, you know, what's good in, in the eyes of Carl Walker-Peters? So first up, we want to know, what game are you playing at the moment that you think, hey, we need to hop on this? Something that, you know, we're all, I know a lot of us are playing a Call of Duty, but what is your recommendation? Um, so at the moment, I love gaming. Um, of course, at the yeah. moment, I'm playing. So I, I, I game on a PC and I'm actually playing Grand Theft Auto. So only people above 18. I don't, don't want any kids jumping on. <laughs> um, no, it's like a, so it's a modded server. Um, by a guy from Southeast London, actually. Um, and I've actually come into contact with him and I speak to him now. And, you know, he's sort of made this Grand Theft Auto server almost like real life. So it's like role play. So for example, the police are actual online players. So you can get arrested, you can go to jail. Um, there's NHS. Yeah, it's, just, it's really it's really cool. Um, so that's my go-to at the moment. As soon as I'm back from training, <laughs> I'm on the PC chilling uh, with <laughs> my mates. Um, so yeah, I'd say I'd say that's my go-to. Right. So we was uh, you know bugged AJ about his uh, you know ring walk for for, for his WWE uh, <laughs> ring entrance. So I'm gonna put you on the spot as well. You got to give me that track that you know if if you were allowed to play the music before you guys walked out into the stadium, full house. First game back with all the fans. Carl Walker Peters what? versus Jake Paul. You know, that's what I'm talking music, about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we need that. I need that. Um, so, so well, what's that track? It would be Young Thug and Gunner Ski. Ooh, it's a track. It's a new yes. song. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> I like that. That is really <laughs> That's a top recommendation. It's one thing that's really important for me, Carl, as well. Um, because like everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone in the football scene knows, you know, you you you're pretty you're a pretty good bowler and a pretty good bowler at Call of Duty as well. Yeah. At the moment of also like between me and my squads, you know, we're, we're jumping between the Danks and Rebirth a lot. But what would you say is the recommended loadout of choice? Because right now I'm rocking the FFAR and I've got, as a second weapon, I've got the crossbow of exploding tips. Ah, okay, very, very good. But what That's about very you? Very different. What, yeah. What's your What's your uh, recommendation? So I actually haven't played Warzone in a while, but I would say the FFAR. Yes, yes, yes. I'm on the right track. 
I'd probably go with. Um, I, so I, I, initially, I would say the DMR, but I know it got nerfed a bit, didn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. That I'm, was crazy though. When that started, yeah, that was, it was hard ridiculous. Work. That was hard. It was stressful. Uh-huh. I'll be honest, I really like the kilo, man. I'm, I'm a kilo, man. I like the fact that I have to be really accurate with it. Um, so, yeah, I'd go kilo. I like that. See, this is this is the kind of stuff that is so important. You know, it's, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, when you bring up the DMR, it gives me flashbacks because when I tried it at one of my old loadouts, I was thinking, yeah, it doesn't work as good but as it same, used to. Yeah. Same with, I'll tell you what, same the, with the, the double Kimbo's. pistols. The, the double pistol, the Kimbo's got dropped, so I couldn't yeah, believe man. it. But yeah, FFAR, stay strong. But I tell you, exploding crossbows and people hiding in the houses, boom. A lot of people wouldn't them. think that though, and that's the thing. I tell you what, when you win a war zone finish on that, you feel like <laughs> you feel like a champion. I was super hyped. But Carl, one one more thing about football, of course, it's hard to not address the um, elephant in the room. Um, of course, I'm sure all the footballers um, in the group chats on the training ground at breakfast in the morning will be talking about the European Super League. A bombshell that obviously came at the top of this week. Just wanted to know your thoughts and feelings on where at the moment it's still very early news, but thoughts and feelings especially with the fans that are quite um you know confused in this in this kind of moment yeah um like you said this morning everyone at, at breakfast and during recoveries talking about it and discussing it but you know we we know no more than you know uh, we're, we're the same we're reading on twitter we're reading on instagram we're seeing all this stuff but yeah we, we know no more than anyone else um so all we can do is leave it to the higher ups, you know, focus on on the games we've got in hand and whatever happens, happens really, you know. Um it's a lot, it's a lot bigger than us. Yeah, definitely. I, I think I think it's one of those things where we need to get more information. You yeah. know, obviously we're just everyone's working off of a press release exactly. and everyone's going, some people are going absolutely nuts. Exactly. And then some people are like just saying, Oh, well, you know, the standard of football would be great, but then you know, I everyone's got to find out exactly what's going on. We'll, we'll find out eventually. But at the end yeah. of the day, the only people that know for sure are the clubs that have agreed and the mm-hmm. higher ups until, until anything's concrete. It's hard to comment on it, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. I think that's the wise thing to do, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tricky, it's a tricky <laughs> you don't want that blowback. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, I've got it. I've got it easy. Cause like, you know, I'm going to throw it out there. I'm a Portsmouth fan. And so, I'm just like, cool, we're sitting back just yeah. watching it happen. Dre's a Liverpool fan and he's thinking, oh, oh goodness, this, you know, it affects it affects the fan base. But nevertheless, you're right, Carl, we, we have to wait yeah. and see, um, you know, the, I think the, the initial emotional reactions and, you know, the, the fellow former pros that have said their piece, um, you know, we've had the first reaction. Let's see what goes down yeah. and hopefully um, logic will prevail. But nevertheless, Kyle, on a positive note, we just want to say thank you so much for spending your time to, um, to chat to us, talking good things, Carl. COD, of course, which is always a good thing, but more importantly, of course, Virgin Media, getting everyone active. You know, it's such a great initiative when there's 50% of, you know, young people that have done less exercise than they did before. It's, it's, it's a crazy st- statistic. So it's great that, you know, the fans of Southampton, the wider community as well, will get the likes of Carl Walker's Peters, the gaffer, um, James Ward Prowse, everyone's going to get involved to get everyone moving, equipment, all the good stuff. So, you know, huge kudos to Southampton as a Portsmouth fan. You know what? I can let that down. It's a good thing. It's a great thing to happen. So, you know, I'm a professional at the end of the day. But Carl, thank you so much. And and final final thing is, yeah, where can the fans find you on social media? Where can we follow you to follow your escapades of gaming or just general, tri- you know, chit chat on the, uh, the social sphere? Um, yeah, I guess my Instagram's KWP. Um, my Twitch is KWP. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'd say they're probably the best places to find me. You know, I'm either watching people stream their games or I might be streaming myself. And, you know, I'm on I'm on Instagram every day like everyone else. <laughs> quick, quick question, talking about the Twitch thing as, as we ride off into the sunset. Your dream quads. Who, who, are, who are the other three ballers that sit side by side for you? I, I think I've got an idea of maybe two of the names are high up on yeah. this, but for those that haven't been following you on the gaming scene, who would have footballers? You would be maybe on a cod or what? Okay, so if it's footballers, I'd probably go Dom Solanke, who I played a good time. Um, I'd 
probably say Jaden Sancho, who I've played with a mm. few times. Um, and I've played against him a few times. We've come in the same lobby. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and yeah, it's got to be Delhi. I play with Delhi oh, quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. See, that's it the solid crew so you know shout out if you come across them lot watch out because I've seen some of the gameplay yeah we're and, good man yeah, they, 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 they know what they're doing you know what I mean it's like the professional okay. football and professional in the game Carl Walker Peters thank you so much for joining us and thank you Virgin Media for making this all possible this is the Alternative Sports Show and we shall see you next time peace